Hey you guys, it's Mach Noor, and I'm responding to some criticism on some of my videos. The criticism was, well, for starters, that I do not understand or know the generally agreed upon definition of other Kennedy. The second criticism was that I'm trying to in some way circumvent, reinvent, or redefine, or come up with new terms for other kin, or in the other kin community. The third criticism was that basically my videos were conjecture and made up ideas without any research and that I should talk to logical reasonable other kin in the other kin community and here's my response to all of those criticisms one I have basically complete understanding of the definition of other kin and you know it goes back to two as well. I'm not trying to redefine or reinvent any definition of what being other can is. As a matter of fact, I find it ironic because when I look at other can, the other can community, what I mean by the other can community is I mean forums and social media groups, is that they usually redefine or reinvent the definition of what being other can is so they can enforce their own standard of other can in these groups and forums. Um, two. I'm not trying to redefine or reinvent anything or come up with new terms for anything. Um, I guess they were referencing my video Chimeras and Hybrids. And they was talking about Polykin. And it was ironic as well because for some, I guess when I was looking around researching and, you know, talking to people, in a sense, a, syn a synonym to some, to some other kin for polykin would usually be hybrids and chimeras and it's ironic because there's other people in the other kin community that go about by identifying themselves as hybrids and chimeras so for me i wasn't trying to redefine or reinvent what being polykin was or anything in fact i was just simply in the video explaining how i think being polykin or how i or what i believe to be an interchangeable term hybrids and chimeras um, how they work or how I believe that it, it functions in a sense. I mean, what I mean by that is basically in that video, Hybrids and Chimeras, to me, when it comes to Polykin, I believe that Hybrids and Chimeras are in a sense, you know, little subcategories of types of Polykin or stuff like that. I know it sounds, you know, ignorant or anything, but that's just my opinion. I'm not claiming it as a fact that that's how the other kin community works, that's how Polykin works. No, I'm claiming that this is my opinion, and this is just what I think. And it's just a theory at that, or a hypothesis. Also, this goes to the third point that they made. That my video topics were conjecture and randomly made up ideas with no research or anything into it. And... I find it funny because, if anything, I put a lot of thought and research into a good bit of my YouTube video topics, you know? I actually do talk to people that I actually do talk to different types of other can I actually do try to get some type of opinion. I actually do ask around to get some input, and I do actually research on information that is relevant to the topic before I actually make the video. So this is not just some randomly made up stuff. This is actually something that I'm actually doing or putting a good amount of effort into. I'm not just simply putting microphone to laptop or, you know, face to microphone and just coming up with something off of the top, off of like the flip of a, off the drop of a dime. I'm actually really taking days and I'm usually actually taking days to think about this and research and get, you know, general inputs, observations and opinions. And to go back to their second criticism that I'm trying to redefine or reinvent terms and definitions in the other community, I'm not trying to do that. If anything, I'm trying to prevent that. And if they ever watched any of my videos, they would know that in most of my videos, I actively encourage people to do their own research so they can get to do their own research from verifiable sources so that they can learn so they can learn and educate themselves responsibly. And to take anything I say in my videos with a grain of salt and to not take it as absolute fact. But I guess some people, you know, when they criticize you, they tend to pick out, they tend to pick out what they think are easy, easy flaws. Without actually over, without actually bothering to look at the whole bigger picture or the whole picture itself. It's easy to look at a little, it's easy to look at a little, you know, mistake on a drawing. But forget about the whole big picture itself and how perfect it is. 
or how good the picture is itself, but just to focus on some mistakes in there. Um, also, another thing they were saying that tied in, they were saying that I should research or talk to logical, logical reasonable otherkin in the otherkin community. And to me, that's just something I'm not going to do. And what I, mean, what I mean by that is, it's not like I'm not open to talking to logical, reasonable people or reasonable otherkin. I do that all the time. It's just I'm not willing to talk to their definition of logical, reasonable other otherkin in the otherkin community. And by otherkin community, I'm going to clarify again, I mean social media groups and forum threads. The reason I say that is because if they ever even saw my other two videos, um, Cynics and Elitists in the otherkin community, then they would know, for me, it's a no-go. These people are narcissists. They are basically very dictate very dictator like they try to enforce their standard of other and they're not open to discussing different types of topics they're not open to discussing unorthodox things in the other community and to me that's not reasonable reasonable is being open to things but they're not it's either their way or you're not other can and for me i can't I can't do that. And the reason I have this channel, the reason I make these videos, the reason I discuss these topics to um, counter, to counter argue against um, their critic, their second criticism, their third criticism, is not because I'm making up I random ideas and not because I want to redefine or reinvent any definitions or terms in the other community, but because I want to speak and talk about, because I want to express my opinion and my beliefs and my theories on unorthodox other kin topics, on other kin topics that most people cannot voice in forums and groups of because of fear that they that they will get shut down for it for fear that it will basically derail and that's what most of these conversations happen in these social media other king groups it starts out with some with a good topic and it derails into who's other king and who isn't other king and who's a fake and who doesn't understand and who needs to talk to who and to me that's not what I'm aiming for my videos are discuss is are basically the, the, my videos are not in my opinion, randomly made up ideas or conjecture. To me, that's pessimism in the greatest sense of it. To me, I like to look at it from an optimistic point of view. To me, my videos are postulation. And if you don't know what that means, it's to basically propose a hypothesis or an explanation for the basis of a discussion or an argument. And that's what basically my channel is for. My channel is basically to put forth opinion Put, to put forth my opinions and my beliefs and my theories and my ideas or my thoughts on how or my explanations for how some things work with certain other kin and kin types and stereotypes in the other kin community or, and stuff like that and get other people's input and feedback. It's not to redefine anything. It's not to change anything. If someone agrees with what I believe, that's good. If someone disagrees, that's good. I'm not going to enforce anything. I'm not trying to force anybody to change their ways or change what they believe in the other kin community. That's not me. It's not. I'm just trying to basically do what... I'm just trying to basically create my channel to do what a lot of people couldn't do in the other kin communities themselves. What a lot of people basically unassociate, disassociate themselves from the other kin community for. Their inability to express their... To, their inability to discuss and share ideas. For fear of being hazed and bullied and harassed. And to me, it's funny because most of the people that criticize and, you know, hate my videos, they're the same people that, in my opinion, are just, to me, fake. And what I mean by fake is, if you've ever seen the show, I think, from BBC America, um, if you've ever seen the show Jonathan Strange and Mr. Morell, if you ever saw, like, the first episode, the first episode, there's this, um, young man, and he wants to learn about magic, right? So he visits this, um... He visits this learned society of York magicians, and they're made up of quote unquote theoretical magicians. And he he acts to learn or practice magic. And despite the fact that they have like all these books, despite that the fact that they know all of these, you know, rituals and spells and they discuss it and they discuss like um you know the definitions and all these words and stuff, they don't actually practice magic. And they laugh at him for even wanting to learn or discuss magic because they say, quote unquote, does an astronomer create stars or a botanist invent new flowers? The point, uh, and, and the point is that they all agree that magic is nothing, is no, is not something a gentleman should learn. 
And to me, it feels kind of stupid because I feel like the other kin community is like that. We have these set definitions of what being other kin is and isn't, but we don't bother to we don't bother to discuss the unorthodox, or we don't bother to to um, discuss theories, hypotheses, and explanations, theoretical explanations for how things work. We prefer to live in some type of to some type of you know square box. And anybody that jumps outside of that box is automatically branded not other kin or doesn't understand or they need to talk to a verifiable logical source. The thing is, there's a lot of logical understand, a lot of logical reasonable people outside of the other kin community that, discon that disconnected from the other kin community because of the freaking cynics and elitists and the crap and the drama that goes on in these groups and forums. The thing is, the world doesn't revolve around some of these people. It doesn't revolve around me, it doesn't revolve around them, and to me, I feel like some of these people that do all this criticizing and all this hazing and harassment, they're just basically people who feel so powerful online. They feel like they're hot stuff online because they run these groups and these forums, and they feel, in my opinion, threatened. They feel threatened by someone that bothers to discuss unorthodox things, that bothers to put forth hypotheses and theoretical explanations, and bothers to discuss these unorthodox topics and wants to actually discuss it, and actually wants to hear the input of others. They feel so threatened that someone's, they feel so threatened that someone is, um, in a sense, endangering their definition or their standard of what they believe other can are. So their defense or, you know, their reaction is to attack that person or thing and try to invalidate it in any sense that they can, to just simply write it off as someone that doesn't know what being other can is, or someone that that is basically stupid or crazy. And to me, it was funny and it was ironic because I treated this person that criticized me with the utmost respect. And it was only until one of my subscribers and friends basically showed me what they were saying behind my back. I guess it wasn't in my back, but it was in the group. I guess they called me childish and, um, you know, clueless or stupid or, you know, delusional. And it's funny because they was, um... It was just like a whole bunch of petty things. They they attacked me as a person rather than my beliefs. And I basically feel like when it comes to that type of stuff, I dislike a person's philosophy. You don't you don't hate the man, you hate their philosophy, and that's how all arguments should go. You shouldn't have to attack my personal character to get your point across. You shouldn't have to make fun of a person uh, you shouldn't have to make fun of who a person is to get your point across or to win an argument. You should be able to debate and discuss ideas, philosophies, principles. That's how you win an argument. That's how you win a debate. This is Makanor. I wish more people were more mature. I wish more people had decency. I wish more people had the ability to communicate civilly. This is Makanor. Like, comment, share your, I mean, discuss your opinion, you know, share it with a comment. Bye.